Good day, everyone. Before taking this course, please be reminded of the following policies and procedures. Classroom and virtual class attendance and participation. Since this course is on flexible learning mode, face-to-face -face and virtual classes, participation and doing e-learning activities are required that can be construed as attendance in this course. Absence or failure to reply to an email or engage in a discussion or chat, for example, is a lack of participation. Therefore, all students must participate actively in the virtual or physical classes and submit all required outputs on or before the due dates for the attendance to be noted. Students' Code of Conduct Treat all other students, instructors, and guests with dignity and respect in face-to-face -face interactions and electronic or online communications. Comply with the information technology policies of the institution. Comply with cheating and plagiarism policies of the institution and this course. Violation will result in dismissal from the course with a failing grade and may result in dismissal from the institution. Participate respectfully in team collaborations and team projects. Participate respectfully and professionally in peer reviews. Self-motivation and self-direction. Be self-motivated and self-disciplined. Be a good time manager and approach the course with a desire to learn. Voluntarily help other students, bearing in mind, however, that doing other people's work for them is tantamount to cheating. Develop needed technical skills and contribute to course discussions. Listen to others and respond respectfully to their comments. Contribute to team activities and respect the ideas of others. Comply with all course policies. Academic Honesty since this course will be utilizing the e-learning approach, the students can collaborate when taking online tests or doing outputs and assigned activities. This honesty, such as letting someone do your assigned task, reproducing others' work, printing and distributing copies of online activities, copying and pasting pieces of information without proper citation, and other forms of cheating and plagiarizing will be given appropriate sanctions. Be responsible for intellectual right policies and copyright laws. Email Policies Excessive emails make unreasonable time demands on both the sender and recipient. Please ensure you have a legitimate need before you write. Your instructor will answer an email about Questions arising from difficulty in understanding course content Requests for feedback about graded assignments And private issues appropriate for discussion within the teacher-student relationship On the other hand, your instructor will not answer email which poses questions answered in the course information sections of the course site, lacks a subject line clearly stating the purpose of the email, and raises an inappropriate subject. Your instructor will answer email received on a given day no later than close of work on the next workday. Read your email every day to assure that you receive course information disseminated by email in a timely fashion. Discussion Policies Forums will have an associated deadline by which time all students must have posted their responses to receive credit for participation. Chats will have a specified time during which students must participate to receive credit. Students will be graded on discussion postings. Points are earned 
based on the quality of responses and compliance with the required number of postings as specified in individual assignment instructions. Students are expected to focus on the specific topic of the discussion as assigned. The introduction of a relevant subject is not permitted. Violators will be asked to leave the discussion and a grade of zero points will be recorded. All students have a right to express their own opinions in discussions and every other student must respect this right. Any student posting a comment disrespectful of this right will be asked to leave the discussion and a grade of zero points will be recorded. Flaming is posting abusive or insulting messages. Any student who engages in, in flaming a discussion will be required to leave the class. A failing grade for the course will be given. Controlling behavior includes but is not limited to attempt to dominate a discussion by posting threads excessively, intentionally changing the discussion topic, or exhibiting an inappropriate or argumentative attitude. Controlling behavior is not permitted. Violators will be asked to leave the discussion and a grade of zero points will be recorded. Students required to leave a discussion will be notified of this consequence in a private email. Assignment Policies Students will submit all assignments electronically via the instructor's email or based on the given instruction. If there are technical problems in sending through email, assignments can be sent through the instructor's messenger and other means. The subject line of the email must include your name, course title, and the title of the assignment. No work received via email will be graded if the subject line is not properly completed. All assignment due dates must be followed. Late assignments will not be accepted. The course software standards for submissions of assignments will be based on the instruction given by the instructor. Assignments not following the given formats will not be accepted. When technical problems occur and you cannot submit your assignment electronically, send an email to your instructor to explain the difficulty. If you cannot use email, call your instructor to explain the difficulty by using your mobile phone. If you need to discuss your grade or feedback you received from your instructor on an assignment, make an appointment with your instructor. This may be done during a visit, during published office hours, or via email or telephone contact. Students are responsible for keeping a copy of all graded assignments. Lacking a copy of graded work, no grade change or credit for a missing assignment is possible. Students must ensure that assignment files are free of viruses before submitting them. Keep your virus detection software up to date. Should an assignment file fail scrutiny by the institution's standard virus detection software, the student submitting it will be so advised by email. A virus-free version of the file must be submitted within 24 hours of the posting date of this email. Any subsequent failure to adhere to these requirements will cause an assignment to be unacceptable. If an assignment is not accepted because this policy is not adhered to, a zero grade will be recorded for the assignment. Gadget Policies The use of cell phones, tablets, and other similar electronic communication gadgets is the basic requirement for the study of this course. It is highly advised that these phones and tablets are kept free from other apps which may distract the student's attention and which may slow down the gadget's performance. Course Work Students' outputs shall be accomplished as specified by the herein assigned instructor 
and must be submitted on time and in the formats specified. Academic Consultation Students needing academic assistance can avail of academic counseling and other mentoring programs. The instructor's referral through the Student Affairs Services Office should be done. Technical Assistance If you need technical assistance at any time during the course or to report a problem with the JBLFMU LMS or with Zoom or with any appurtenant technology for the study of this course, you can chat with the JBLFMU eLearning Technical Support staff or seek assistance from the eLearning Help Desk, JBLFMU Molo Campus. For the grading plan or grade component, it will be composed of formative assessment such as discussion paper, work outputs, quizzes, class participation, and other similar works which is represented by 40% and summative assessment which is represented by 60% with a total of 100%. We are now done with all the policies and procedures to be followed in taking these scores. I hope that everything were discussed clearly and comprehensively. Thank you for listening. Keep safe and God bless everyone.